experiment. The experiment name is Determination of Wavelength of Light using Newton's Ring Method. So, this is the apparatus and we first need to switch on the transformer. So, this is sodium vapor lamp. And we need to wait for 10 to 15 minutes to heat it up. It will be dark yellow after 10 to 15 minutes. So we need to turn this on and wait for 10 to 15 minutes. But before that to check the reading from this horizontal scale of traveling microscope. This one is the eyepiece. Through eyepiece we are going to watch the rings or fringes. So after 10 minutes we can find that the light is dark yellow. Now we can start the experiment. So the phenomena of Newton rings is an illustration of the interference of light waves. Reflected from the opposite surfaces of a thin plane of variable thickness. This is the monochromatic source of light. The two interfering beams derived from a monochromatic source satisfy the coherence condition for interference. Fringes are produced by the air flame existing between a convex lens and a long focus planoconvex lens and a plane of glass plate. We need to check the fringes through eyepiece and measure the diameter of the circular fringes. When a plano convex lens, suppose capital L, of long focal length is placed on a plain glass plate. This is the glass plate and this one is the plano convex lens of large focal length. Then a thin film of hair is enclosed between the lower surface of the lens and upper surface of the glass plate. The thickness of the air film is very small at the point of contact and gradually it is increasing from the center outwards. The fringes produced are concentric circles with monochromatic light bright and dark circular fringes are produced in the air flame. When viewed with the white light, the fringes are colored. Now, if you see the diagram, what is happening? A horizontal beam of light falls on the glass plate G at an angle 45 degree. The plate G reflects a part of incident light towards the air flip enclosed by the lens capital L and the plate G. The reflected beam from the air flip is viewed with the microscope. Interference takes place and dark and bright circular fringes are produced. This is due to the interference between the light reflected at the lower surface of the lens and the upper surface of the glass plate. So, if we include that for the normal incident, the optical path difference between the two waves is nearly about 2 mu t. Her mu is the refractive, uh, refractive index of the film and t is the thickness of the air flame. So, we get 2t, 2t, equals to small n lambda where small n equals to order numbers 0, 1, 2 and so on. 
So lastly we get that working formula is diameter n d n square d for diameter d n square is equals to 4 into small n r lambda. Here from we have to find out the lambda wavelength of light lambda that is d square n by small n into 1 by 4 into capital R. R is the radius of curvature. Here it is 120 centimeter. So next if we proceed towards working table observation table we are going to measure the diameter of the dark circular fringes. Procedure is we are going to find out the diameter of the dark fringes. So at first we need to move this screw from current position to right side. Right side 15th order number of fringes and check the main scale reading as well as vernier scale reading and take in the laboratory copy. Similarly when it is done we will move the screw on clockwise and shift the 15 number of ring position to 14 number of ring position and take repeat the reading again. Then, so I have placed at 15 number of ring at right side and my main skill reading is 4.75 and vernier coincidence is 35 i have taken the left side full data so we can see that since the fringes are very nearer to each other so i have uh, we can observe that 15 number of rings to 13 number of rings there is no change in between main scale reading but we can find change in vernier scale reading and here also after 12 to 8 we can't find any change in main scale reading this is because of fringes are very nearer to each other the circles are very nearer to each other approx same diameter Next we are going to perform the right side. So we have to take the reading for right side. What we are doing, suppose this is the circle or this is the dark fringes. The cross wire is placed at this point and take the reading. Suppose this reading is coming by 3, 3 centimeter all total. Then cross wire will be replaced at this point and take this reading. Suppose this reading is coming by 1. So the diameter will be 3 minus 1, 2 centimeter. This way we are calculating the diameter of the fringes or dark circles. Now I have completed the data taking. Now we need to calculate the total. This total then this total. So our diameter will be difference of both the total. Both sides. Then we have to calculate diameter square. After doing all the calculation from table. We need to plot a graph. Along y axis diameter square this column and along x axis order number this column we need to plot a full scale graph this is the graph along x axis we need to plot the order number 0 to 15 and along y axis we need to plot diameter square of the rings and the graph will look like this. It will be a straight line passing through origin. Now we need to choose two points on the straight line rather than experimental points to find the slope. 
So I have chosen two points and find out the slope. And slope comes 0.022 cm square. Next, we know the working formula of lambda. The working formula of lambda is diameter square divided by order number into 1 by 4 into capital R. After calculating, we have got 4.5833 into 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter. We need to convert it into angstrom. So, to con for conversion, we need to multiply by 10 to the power 8. Our result is 4583 angstrom. Now, original value is 5800 angstrom. From the formula, we got 20% This error. is the end.